Hello, and welcome to this module on the deployment options for graph feature of Oracle Database. I am Melly Anamalai. I'm a product manager with the graph product team. So graph is a feature of Oracle Database. An Oracle Database has a variety of deployment options. You can deploy Oracle Database on-premises, in Oracle Cloud, in third-party clouds, in clouded customer where Oracle manages the infrastructure, but the hardware is physically in your data center. Uh, and when you're deploying the database on premises, you have the option of engineered systems or commodity hardware. The graph feature supports two data, two graph models, the property graph model and the RDF graph model. And both of them can be deployed in all of these uh, scenarios we'll focus this module on the property graph feature. So a quick recap of the property graph features uh, in Oracle Database. So it includes an in-memory uh, parallel graph server for extremely fast graph analytics and graph queries. It includes support for the property graph query language, which is a SQL-like language to query graphs. It includes support for nearly 60 pre-built graph algorithms, and all of this is built on the enterprise capabilities of Oracle Database. So when it comes to deployment options, there are three categories. One is a fully managed option where you provision an autonomous database in Oracle Cloud, and then use the graph feature available with autonomous database. It's the quickest way to get started with using graphs. Then you have the co-managed option where you use Oracle Cloud infrastructure, but you install your database and deploy your database. And you would also install and deploy the property graph components like the graph server and the graph client components using a marketplace image. And then finally, you have the on-premises option where you would uh, install and deploy the database uh, in your data center. And you would also uh, install and deploy the graph server and graph client uh, in a, in a mid-tier container or a mid-tier box running the graph server. So let's take a closer look at some of these options. So when you're working with Graph Studio in autonomous database, it's a fully managed option. It has several features for automating the working with graphs. Like you can create a graphs, you can create a graph from tables in a database. When you're using Graph Studio, you can automate that. You automate the creation of the graph. You can point and click to select the tables you want included in your graph. And the modeler will look at the primary key information and the foreign key relationships and automatically create a graph for you. It's easy to provision. It includes an advanced notebook UI for running graph queries and graph analytics and integrated visualization. It also includes sample notebooks uh, that you can start working with. So it's really easy to get started working with graphs uh, in autonomous database. So when you provision an autonomous database and log into the console and click on the tools tab, you have the option of selecting the graph studio. And you would do that to open the Graph Studio and log in as the Graph-enabled user. And when you, that's a Graph-enabled database user. So when you log in as a Graph-enabled database user, you create your graph and then you can start querying your graph in this notebook. You run PGQL queries, and then you can start visualizing the results of these queries. And here you're running some of the analytics algorithms. For example, you're running page rank on your graph. And then here you're visualizing the results of the page rank algorithm by visualizing vertices which have a higher page rank value uh, with a larger size and a different color and so on. So the notebook UI uh, gives you very rich functionality to work with graphs and the entire environment is fully managed. Next is a co-managed option where you would install and deploy your database on Oracle Cloud infrastructure and then use the OCI marketplace image for graph server and client. So it's easy to install your database in Oracle Cloud infrastructure and the marketplace image makes it very easy to install and um, deploy the graph server and graph client components. And then uh, once you do that, you would have access to the Java and Python developer APIs to create a graph, run graph queries, uh, execute graph algorithms, and so on. So uh, functionality-wise, graph functionality-wise, it's very similar to the fully managed options. And the graph features are the same. The difference is that here you 
do the manual install and you would manage the environment. And there's a little bit of difference in the tooling. And finally, it's a user managed option. You create graphs from tables in the database as always. You can load your graph into the graph server. So in this case, you're installing and deploying the database in your data center. You're also installing and deploying the graph server within a mid-tier box or mid-tier container. And you have the client components either on that machine or in a separate machine. And this works with Oracle Database 12.2 or later. So if you happen to have an older database uh, version installed, you can still use that to get started with graphs. And once again, once you've installed the database and once you've installed the graph components, you have access to the Java and Python developer APIs to create a graph, run graph queries, execute algorithms, visualize graphs, and so on. So we hope this gives you an idea of all the different ways you can deploy the property graph feature of Oracle Database. And thank you very much for listening.